When Captain Bible first came out, the developers included in the game several lies they felt Christians would likely encounter. One notable lie was this. However, over the couple of decades since, that lie has metamorphosized, namely, into this. Currently, 77 million Americans do not attend church except on special occasions, and 43% of those who call themselves Christians believe it is okay not to attend church, claiming that they can have a relationship with God anywhere and don't have to go to church to be saved. So, what does the Bible say about such matters? In Hebrews 10.25, Paul says, Not forsaking the assembly of ourselves together, as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another, and so much the more as you see the day approaching. Paul counters the notion that one can be saved outside of church in 1 Corinthians 1.21, when he says, For after that in the wisdom of God the world by wisdom knew not God. It pleased God by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. He goes on to say, Because the foolishness of God is wiser than men, and the weakness of God is stronger than men. In this regard, Paul exhorts that God loves his church so much that he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. Can we all come into the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man and to the measure of the stature or the fullness of Christ? That we henceforth be no more children, tossed to and fro, and carried about with every wind of doctrine, by the slight of men, and cunning craftiness, whereby they lie in wait to deceive. Knowing that it is because God loved us, that he provided watchmen to look out for us for the saving of our souls, we as Christians should willingly submit ourselves to their guidance, and in so doing, become united and of one mind and accord as the apostles of old to serve God in spirit and truth. Maybe then we can be like David when he said, I was glad when they said unto me, Let us go into the house of the Lord. Welcome to Let's Play Captain Bible. Hey everybody, Bobozak here once again, and welcome back to Let's Play Captain Bible. It has been a while, but we're out here outside this humongous blue building. And as usual, I'm going to see what the layout is. That's a pretty complicated layout, so... Okay... Looks like this is either a jump tunnel or this is a jump tunnel, and that's that might be a jump tunnel. One of these is definitely a jump tunnel. So I think I'm definitely going to go up first. Um, it has been a while because well, I wanted to spend some time focusing on school and getting all that stuff done, and then I just had to get back to. Uh, recording again. But now I'm back and we should be getting these out a lot more regularly until we finish this up. Uh, this is Philippians 121. For to me to live is Christ and to die is gain. Okay, so let's see what we have here and then I can get into uh, some of the stuff that I left off from not being able to cover last time. And we begin with a trap. Who knew? When another Christian sins against you, you should immediately call your prayer group and tell all of them to pray for him. Uh, I don't think that that applies here. But we're going to get out of here. Next, I know I've looked at the map already, but I, I want to go up here. And I'm trying to decide which of these is going to be a jump tunnel. Uh, I'll go this way. Well... I'll work on it. Anyway, um, one of the things I want to cover this time is just my memories of the game. This is a game I actually grew up with, and I've been in the game a couple of times before. Um, Christian Household, this was like the, one of the first uh, computer games I played. This is Isaiah 57 1. The righteous perish, eh, perishes. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. The ifs are hard to pronounce. And no man layeth it to heart. And merciful men are taken away, none considering that the righteous is taken away from the evil to come be interested to see how they use that. But yeah, um, in a Christian household, this was a game I played a lot. So I grew up with this game, so I kind of like this game. It's not a bad game. And, you know, that's that's what I... Uh, that's, that's a lot... Seriously? 
What's with all these cybers? Yeah, no, nothing going on here. Better find a prayer room first. I think I want to go down just to explore us down there and get that, um, get the sword. So, yeah, I grew up with this game. And, um, uh, conversation room. Uh, Romans 3.23, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Um, I want to get at the truth at first and take it to heart. So he's about truth. So, does that mean that sinners can't walk? No. Does it... Okay. Does that mean that everybody has done wrong things? Yes, that's actually what it means. God wants us to realize that you and I and everyone else are sinners and don't measure up to what we should be. The fact is, none of us measure up at all, but God has provided means of forgiveness and cleansing. Jesus. Yeah. There we go. So, I played this a lot. Um, didn't really put a lot of play into it until I was a little bit older. When, I, when, I first, when we first got this game, I played a little bit, but not a lot, and get much into it. Find that prayer room. Um, we'll make sure we come back here when we get the sword. So... I mean, I've played this game quite a bit. I, I loved it, even love it, even with its flaws. So that's why I had a hard time with people who would bash this game. And we're gonna get this, and then go back and get the sword because who knows when we're gonna see a prayer room next. Uh, when I was doing on my practice file, there were prayer rooms all over the place. However, I'm playing on, um, I'm playing it on easy difficulty mainly because I just want to see what's coming up. I really don't want on my practice file, and I really don't want to deal with stuff, so easy gives me a, a, a clear enough view of that. But, um... Okay, we can't go that way, so we, we have to go the other way. That's nice to know, which means that's probably the way the jump tunnel is. Um, I had no problems with this game. I actually liked this game. Um, for me, however, um, most of the areas in this game, especially this one, are memorable. Um... That's going to be the jump tunnel, in my opinion. I believe... Well, no, it's not going to be the jump tunnel. So, where should we go? Oh, nope, it's the jump, jump tunnel. Well, you know what that means. Um, I'm going to go back through here, because I want to clear out the other corridor. So, I spent a lot of time... When I first played, the, played this game, game as a kid, I... Didn't get past maybe a few uh, dungeons, uh, a few areas. I didn't beat the game until I was a little bit older. Um, God doesn't care if good men die. The righteous perish, no man layeth it to heart, and merciful men are taken away. None consider that the righteous is taken away from evil to come. Okay. So, what I was going to say is, out of, out of all the buildings, if you're going to be some important, you have to look important. Um, we don't have that yet. I know which one that is. Um, probably should wait to get to the jump tunnel and after this. This new parents instruction. We don't have that, so we'll have to come back to this. Looks like we're going to be traversing jump tunnels this time in this maze. So, I really couldn't do much here. Sad. Um, out of the seven buildings, um, five are really memorable. Uh, the two that aren't memorable are the, the green and purple one. Um, let's see. That's going to be the jump tunnel right there. Um, the green and purple buildings really aren't that memorable to me. Um, I know, I remember the, uh, guys in them. They're memorable enough. Uh, live for Jesus is a waste of time. When you die, you'll just be there like everyone else. I think Philippians is what they want there. Um, I mean, in the purple and the green buildings, respectively, I remember the guys, the uh, victims in them. They're pretty memorable. Uh, we needed that one. Let's try to uh, make our way forward here, here as far as possible. Um, 
but it's all the other buildings were very memorable to me. Um, you, you, of course, had her building, which is the first building you always enter, so of course I'm entering that a lot as a kid. Then you had that barrel building, because it's just shaped like a building. It's a very memorable shape. And you had the fireball shooting at you. This building... Well, let's let's wait for this building. Um, you had the the one building that has mine shaft, which we're not going to be getting to yet. I mean, it's very memorable as the way it's laid out. And um, the... the one of the next buildings we'll be getting to is also very memorable because of the play mechanic in there and the way it's set out. It's probably one one of my favorite buildings in the game. And this building, even though you wouldn't think it'd be a memorable building, to me it's very memorable, number one, because it's my favorite color, blue. And number two, it just has this interesting feel about it, which I want to explain after this. Uh, so Proverbs, Proverbs 1, 8 through 9, My son, hear the instruction of thy father, and forsake not the law of thy mother, for they shall be an ornament of grace unto thy neck, and to thy head, and chains about thy neck. So, listen to your dad, but not your mom. Uh, no, you want to listen to both of them? Um, normally as a kid, I went the other way around. I tried, well, not listening, but I, you, you know, as a kid, you try to work your parents to get against each other or you know you know for me if you're going to get something you go to mom because you're more likely to get to get that done but that doesn't but not here there there does god mean that we can really learn from our parents yes proverbs is about wisdom so many times when we are going through problems it seems that no one has ever been in the same condition god wants us to know that our parents can really help they have gone down the road that road many times before and know where the potholes are we need to use their wisdom Keep in mind, this is a game primarily aimed towards Christians and primarily aimed towards Christian kids. So, um, this is important scripture. I want to go through this door real quick first, and then I'm going to go back through the jump tunnel and clear out that, that section. So, good news is we have a prayer room here. And we can get all this. Now, we should be getting traps and snares, I think, somewhere in here. I remember when I played my practice file, I got almost all the abilities, one right after another. It was very, very quick. So, yeah, you wouldn't think I remember this, because it's it's a very monolithic, it's a very tall, ominous sort of structure. You'd think it would kind of blend, you wouldn't really remember it, remember it much at all. But um, one thing I have to remark out is, I'm more likely to forget the victim who's locked in here... Ooh, I wanted to remember, remark on that. That's, um, I don't know the name of that cyber. I'm getting in here before it hits me again. Um, if you go into the instruction booklet, they do not have a name for that cyber. Um, it's, it's a memorable part of this place, because it just comes around, hits you, turns you around, and it's after faith. I'm just going to call it a UFO. It's kind of weird. You're going to see the, see it every once in a while in here. Keep moving, you should be fine. Um, Romans 1, 16-17 For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth to the Jew first and also to the Greek for therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith as it is written the just shall live by faith so Gentiles are second classes and the things of God no um, they are grafted into the body of Christ and since then through some weird twist, twist of fate is primarily uh, where you, where uh, pr pr uh, Christians are primarily Gentiles happened somewhere along the line. Best not to get into that. Righteousness is something that is written about but cannot be attained. Uh, no, you can't attain it. Does it mean that the words of God and trusting His words will give me spiritual life? Yes. God tells us in the Bible that His word is actually alive. The word brought God's creation into existence. Trusting in His word brings us into His, his presence. Faith in His word brings us to salvation and everlasting life. And when it's talking about I, I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, it's not just talking about the Bible, but it's talking about your faith in general. You're not afraid to tell people that you're, that you're a Christian, the witness to them of Christ. You're not afraid of the gospel, which is the testimony of Christ, about his, about his, de his ministry, his death, burial, and resurrection. Hey, a cyber, a cyber appeared. So that's mainly what it's about. Don't read the Bible, it won't help you. Uh, I think they want that one. Just stab up here, and we don't have to worry about it. So I'm going to need to, because of that UFO, visit this prayer room down here. But I'm more likely in this place to forget the victim, because he's a little bit more forgettable, than I am um, this building because of, against blue, and 
um, in my opinion, I don't want to spoil what's going on with the victim, but when you really know what's going on with the victim, this building, unlike some of the other buildings, fits this victim so well. So, I mean, it's, in all in all, it's probably one of my favorite buildings. Oh, it's a second jump tunnel. Huh. Okay. I'll allow it. How many jump tunnels are in this place? Huh. Oh, well. You're probably going to be seeing a lot more jump tunnels in this, uh, this uh, recording session than you normally will. So, I mean, that's my general thoughts of the game, uh, my experience of the game. I'm going to try to work my way back up here, see if I can get a jump tunnel, catch a jump tunnel over this way. Um, because this is definitely a jump tunnel. I guarantee you the victim is somewhere over here. So, I'm going to work my way this way and see, see if we can get any further. <laughs> 